Let's quickly set up OBS so that you can multi-stream on both X and YouTube for free at the same time. To start with, download and install OBS, which is in the description. At the top, I'm going to click Profile and I'm going to click New. I've named my profile X Streaming. I'll press OK. Make sure you show the Auto Config Wizard before pressing OK. Optimize for streaming. We want 1920 by 1080 and 60 FPS and the service is Twitter. Next, I'm going to click Get Stream Key. That is going to pull up the X Media Studio. I'm going to click Create Source in the top right and I'm going to name this OBS Stream Key or similar. I'm going to select a region and I'll choose Island and I'll press Create. And now I have a Stream Key. I'm going to highlight it and copy it. After that, I'm going to press Done and we're going to head back into OBS and I'm going to paste in the Stream Key. I'm going to uncheck Estimate Bitrate and you can use between 9000 and 6000 bitrate i'm going to set mine to 6000 because i'm multi-streaming i would say if your upload speed is between 15 and 20 meg like mine is set it to 6000 because we're going to use another 6000 to go on youtube if you have 20 meg or above upload speed set the bitrate to 9000 also make sure the server matches what you chose on the twitter x website so i chose island these settings now look great so i'll press next this is good and i'll press apply now that our profile's been made i'm going to click scene collection new and i've named mine x scenes and i'll press ok now let's start by adding in our mic and sound so i'm going to click on settings and i'm going to click onto audio i'll start by adding my wireless headset and then i'll add in my microphone the profiles made good settings for everything else so we don't need to tweak anything else i'll press ok let's add some noise suppression to remove things like fans and ac click the three dots on your mic click on filters click the plus button click on noise suppression rn noise is usually fine if you want to go even more advanced you can use nvidia noise removal you only really need that if you're in a super loud noisy environment Let's start by adding in our display and camera. So on this is for the extreme still, we're gonna press the plus button and we're gonna click on display capture. You can rename display capture if you want, but I'll just leave it on display capture. I'll select the correct screen. I'm gonna capture the cursor and press okay. If you wanna move it around, just click where it says display capture. You can drag the corners or you can click to drag it around. I'm now gonna lock it into place and I'm gonna add a video capture device, also known as a camera. You can once again rename that if you want. I'm gonna add my lower quality second camera. You want to scroll down to resolution fps type and change it to custom and underneath resolution you want at least 1920 by 1080 which puts your camera in 1080p and you want the maximum fps the other settings are fine make sure you click on the video capture device and you usually want to drag the corners to resize it if i wanted to center it perfectly i'm going to right click transform and center it vertically and if you are using a green screen like me and you wanted to crop it i'm going to hold alt and drag the corners there is a video on my channel telling you more about green screens, by the way. So before we go live on X, we need to set up the YouTube stream. There will be some additional steps to do before we go live on X in the X producer. But for now, you want to set up the YouTube stream, close out of OBS and download Atom Vertical. The plugin has a confusing name, but we are going to do a landscape stream with this. So download it, run through the installer, then reopen OBS and open up Atom Vertical. If it's not showing, click on Docs, click on Vertical Scenes vertical sources and vertical and it should now be showing it's probably not in the landscape mode for you so click onto the settings cog and head to general underneath resolution click the drop down list and change it to 1920 by 1080 you can copy these other settings as well if you like also before i forget i'm going to click back onto the regular settings underneath output i'm going to scroll down and just enable the replay buffer and i'm going to enable it for 60 seconds and press ok Heading back into the Atom vertical settings, we're now going to click onto the streaming section. Now, I was previously using this for multi streaming, we're just focusing on YouTube and X here. So, make sure if you were using it, you just uncheck the boxes and press add. And I'm just going to type in YouTube. We're now being asked for a server and a key. So, you now want to head anywhere on YouTube, whether that's studio or normal YouTube website, click create in the top right and click on go live. And then we're going to click in the top right corner to schedule a stream. If you were previously live, reuse the settings or you can click create new. I'll reuse settings. So just run through all the different settings and schedule it sometime into the future and press done. 
And you can see on the left here, it says stream key. I'm gonna click the drop down list and choose the default stream key. You can choose any stream key option you've got here. Now you can see I've got the stream key option. So I'm gonna copy that. We're gonna go back to the eight and vertical settings and paste it into the key box. We also need the server. So we'll go back. This is the stream URL. You could also use the backup one if you prefer. It doesn't really matter. So we'll go back and paste that in here. And a bit further down, video bitrate 6,000. If you have more than 20 meg of upload speed, as we discussed earlier, you might want to go 9k but if you're in the 15 to 20 range like me 6k is fine use the main obs settings just to make it more simple and we can now press ok now there's nothing showing of course because we now need to add in our display and camera that's a bit easier you can see just behind where i am i'm going to click plus on the vertical sources we're going to start with the display capture it's already been added so we just got to add it in and lock it in place and likewise click the plus button video capture device you can see again it's too big so i'm going to click on the video capture device I'm going to drag into the corners and resize it how I want. Once again, I'm going to right click transform and set, not center horizontally, sorry. That was a mess up. Right click transform center vertically. So it's now perfectly centered. So for both YouTube and X, it is a little bit more complex than something like Twitch for going live. So let's first look at how to go live on X. We're going to click onto broadcast. So studio.twitter.com slash producer slash broadcast. Click on create broadcast in the top right. I'm just going to give it a name such as as test i'm going to add in a category i'm going to choose the source which is our obs stream key i'm going to go through the other options i'll let everyone chat i will turn the hearts on we'll start it immediately and i'll click create broadcast now if you now scroll up a bit you definitely need to press this tweet button if you don't press the tweet button then the stream is not really going to appear on the timeline so i'll just send this out and then to send the stream live properly, all I've got to do is underneath where it says controls inside OBS, I've got to press the start streaming button. When you want to start the YouTube stream underneath the vertical settings, you press this green one here. It's not properly started yet. Even though there is a timer now running, we have to head back into the studio here. And actually I lied, mine has properly started because you can see in the additional settings, I had enabled auto start. So that is up to you. If you didn't enable auto start, there'd be a button in the top right corner here, which allows you to start the stream. But that one's up to you. I actually already enabled the auto start. So it has properly started. You can watch this video to learn about donations.